Hey guys, this is gonna be a pocket pinger video. 10 tips in three minutes. Let's get into it. Tip number one, you can use your whole palm to open up the grips. Tip number two, you're gonna to wanna to get the coin as centered in the device as you can. Tip number three, you're gonna to wanna to apply a little bit of pressure to the front of the device to prevent the coin from sliding around while you're pinging it. Tip number four, when you're using the stack stick, you always wanna make sure that you're tapping the coin on the edge of the rim. Never on the surface of the coin or directly on the reeds. That's gonna get you the best sound from the coin. Tip number five, when you're pinging bars, you wanna put it in at about a 30 degree angle. That way when you ping it, you're gonna get the most sound from the bar. Tip number six, for smaller coins, you may need to readjust the caps so that coin can actually make contact with the hammer. It's really easy to do. You just open up the grips, you press that bottom cap forward and that top cap back, and that's gonna reshape the caps in a position that's gonna allow the coin to make contact with the hammer. Tip number seven, the looser the grips, the longer the resonance. So when you're trying to ping a 10 ounce bar, it is beneficial to put a little bit of pressure on the grips while it's pinging, so it's not gripping down so hard on the bar. And it allows it to get that extra little bit of resonance. And what may happen when you do that is the device gets overstretched and it won't be able to grip a small coin like a dime anymore. So we're gonna have to readjust it back down. So we're just gonna push it down to the right, push it down to the left, give a little squeeze, and that's gonna be able to ping the dime. And just remember, the looser the grips, the longer the resonance. When testing for counterfeits, you always wanna compare the sound of a coin that may be counterfeit with the sound of a coin that is a known authentic. So this one on the left here is a known authentic. I'm gonna give it a tap. Things I'm listening for is that initial pop of sound, how long that resonance is going for, and how fast that sound tapers away at the end. So let's give that a tap again. And now let's compare it with a potential counterfeit. So it sounds different. This one is still resonating from that first tap, and then this one cuts off really fast at the end. This is obviously a fake. Tip number nine, I highly suggest everybody get the Precious Coin Tester app. This is gonna be really beneficial if you don't have a known authentic to compare with or you don't know what to listen for. So we went ahead and searched the catalog. This is that Gold Eagle. We're gonna go ahead and check it. We're gonna hit check. Give the coin a couple taps. And let the app do its work. And you can see it came back three of three, great. Tip number 10, you always wanna use multiple testing methods. Check your weight. Check your dimensions, use a magnet, and your ping, minimum.